Conway's Game of Life is a simple game by John Conway. Unlike the popular board game of life, Conway's Game of Life is a simple simulation of living cells. It is simple because it actually only has four short rules, yet these four rules somehow manage to define an intriguing simulated world. First of all, the game is played on a variable sized grid. Each spot on the grid is a cell. Each cell is either alive or dead. The first of these four simple rules states that if an alive cell has less than two live neighbor cells, it dies. The second rule states that if an alive cell has two or three live neighbors, it lives on to the next generation. Here the red cells survive to the next generation because they each have two or three live neighbor cells. Rule number three states that if an alive cell has more than three live neighbor cells, it dies. And finally, rule number four states that if a dead cell has exactly three live neighbors, it becomes alive. Such as here where the red cells are the new cells. Interestingly enough, these four simple rules lead to the creation of an array of life forms. These four patterns are stable life forms. They are stable because each cell has two or three living neighbors, meaning that no cells die. These three patterns are stable life forms as well, but they are oscillating stable life forms. Oscillating life forms like this do not die out because they return to a previous state after a definite number of generations. Some life forms, like this lightweight spaceship, have the ability to move around the grid. Note that the living cells themselves are not moving, but that cells are becoming alive in front of the life form, while cells are also dying behind the life form. When the lightweight spaceship crashes into the side of the grid, an escape pod known as a glider is inadvertently formed. To learn more about Conway's Game of Life and similar problems, take a course in either Math 121 Combinatorics or Computer Science 102 Introduction to Computational Modeling.